So we've gone from single one way, technically it's two axes, and, and sometimes they use axes and way uh, interchangeably. This is actually a one way tentacle. We built two way tentacles, which is still technically one axis, but we call them two way tentacles. The next one is the four way. And that is comprised of multiple vertebrae or multiple stations that control four cables that counter pull each other in pairs. You say up, down, and left, right, and then when you move it up and down become left and right, but that's okay. It basically, this is a four-way tentacle. And the construction, as built on this, is a fairly complicated four cable with large passage holes, which also are lightning holes, a center hole that allows the speedometer cable to pass through, and then a little bit of a hub height that has a set screw in it for clamping it to it, because again, one of the most important things about making the controllability of the tentacle good is that it can't twist. So this piece has to be locked down tight to the side of the speedometer cable so that when you've got them all lined up in a row, one cable always pulls one direction, one cable always pulls another direction, and if they were to spiral like a candy cane, you, you would get an uncontrolled mess. So let's go ahead and make a slightly simpler version of that that doesn't involve all of the computer CNC work out of just really, really simple sliced aluminum. I'm going to take just a bar of aluminum. I'm going to slice it multiple times, probably do a five vertebrae one to start with. And then each one of those slices, all I'm going to do is drill a simple passage hole in the center and then four holes for the four cables. And then in the side, I'm going to drill and then tap a hole that's going to actually create the vertebrae that we need for this tentacle project.